Welcome to the City of Eureka Springs Cemetery Commission meeting. It's 4 p.m. on Monday, August the 12th. We'll have a call to order. Right, the Lawler. David Danvers and Matt will be here shortly, but we have a quorum. Next order of business is the approval of the minutes from July the 8th, 2024, if you'll look in your packet. Do I have a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Pass 3-0. Thank you, Ratha. Now, we want to approve today's agenda, the next order of business, and I believe we've got just a couple of items to add on new business. I have a motion to add these four items to new business. This is just this motion. Okay. Uh, invitation. Oh, invitation. Yeah, okay. And then uh, I recently received a request regarding the placement of someone in the cemetery that two names. Kind of an unusual request. I don't know if we want to put that on new business or if it's just stuff something I covered in my superintendent's report. We don't make motions out of the board, so. That's right. You want to just cover it with uh, your report then? Oh, oh, this is going to require a motion. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, you want to add that to loose ends? I have a loose end. Loose ends oh, is, uh, or, or anywhere you want it. Let's add a item number five for uh, uh, Roberta Laughlin request. Okay. It's R Roberto. It's R R Rhonda. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Rhonda Laughlin. Okay. Okay. Rhonda Laughlin <laughs> burial request. Okay. Okay. So I'll, I'll make a motion that we add the five items to new business to our agenda. May, may I make a comment then? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if that was under new business, I had something on a loose end. Should we add this to it? Okay. I, I wanted to make sure that today uh, we have an opportunity to review uh, the proposal from the CPA, and it wasn't specifically listed here. It's been it's been talk that we've had, and we have a letter, you know, to read a proposal from him. We can add that under new business as well. Thank you, LB. So this will be, let's just put uh, the CPA QuickBooks. That's enough, CPA QuickBooks. Okay, so that being amended, I'd like to make a motion that we add six items, plant policy, invitation, control of our cemetery projects committee, Wanda, Do you have a second? I'll second it. And all in favor? Aye. Okay. Pass unanimously. Thank you. Public comments. I'd like to <clears throat> stop, pause, and welcome Brita, who oh, will be confirmed at this evening's city council yeah, meeting. So welcome aboard prematurely. Would you like to say anything? Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Good deal. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Thank you. 
Thanks. Yeah, and thanks for, you'll see, I think we've got a great bunch of people, fun to work with. We're all volunteers and we take it serious, but we kind of have fun, you know, while we're doing these things because there's always a lot to do. Hey, shut <laughs> I make a motion that he, okay, okay, Kim, Kim's watching, we're in trouble, oh Lord. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on into the reports right now. Uh, I have uh, the superintendent report up uh, first, LB, if you'd like to do the, the groundskeeper and or the sexton, the office manager report in any of those three orders, feel free to do that. It doesn't matter. That's just whatever order do you want. I don't have a groundskeeper report per se, but I will make a comment regarding that. Nathan Taylor, our head groundskeeper, and Justin Marima are continuing to do a role with their job in the cemetery. And Nathan is especially conscientious and flexible. I'll come in here in the middle of the day or middle of the week or whatever time. Yes. Thank you, LB, for a job well done. And uh, I'm not just saying this because we're on TV. Uh, every time I'm somewhere in town and I speak to somebody about the cemetery and they, those that have been out here and been by it, they always say, it is so beautiful. They always say, y'all are doing a great job. And I always point to you and the head groundskeepers because it really is. And I drove into the back where my block is, where my wife and family are in uh, section well, 
in the, the back half, in that back third where my family is and that far back is never looked better, and I'm serious, because I think they just got to mowing it. Uh, it it's been dry, so nothing's really growing, but the whole place looks so great right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks just fantastic. Thank you, LD. Uh, we have a treasurer's uh, report, Ratha. Okay, your uh, treasurer's report is self explanatory. You see the opening balance, debits, credits, the monthly different, and the um, ending balance. And then the second part, the second page is the Cornerstone Bank. Um, the profile there with all the listings of all the accounts and everything. And then we have Yeah, do you want to go ahead and you can Okay, the opening balance is $17,637.83 Expenses $1,543.09 Visa LBs is 9834. The visa that David has is 15335. So the total debits $1,794.78. Uh, we've had $4,485 in sales, which is a monthly difference of $2,690.22. And the ending balance is $20,328.05. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't think we have anything to report on the special events. LB was there. Okay. We'll move on to unfinished business now. Uh, the website uh, update, I'll give that. Uh, we went live this past week. It looks really, really good. Uh, there are a few more small issues that we've got to uh, mop up. Just a couple of links. I was very pleased with it. It looks good on PCs, it looks good on tablets. On the phones, though, you really need to turn the phone and do it landscape. It doesn't really line up, which I think we were pretty much aware of that when we went into, into this with Civic Plus, which is the city's uh, website uh, provider. I also noticed on the, uh, is that cookie good? I also noticed that there's not a link on the city uh, of EurekaSprings.gov website uh, that links us straight into our cemetery the way there is with the link to the parks. And so I'll speak to Ida and we'll get that taken care of. The next step is uh, we've been handed over uh, to, uh, uh, it, it went from the engineer that got us up and going that we worked with to now the person that'll maintain it, the static piece of everything. So uh, we'll uh, get together and schedule uh, some training on the maintenance of that uh, probably in the next couple of weeks is what i let them know. Yeah, I'll be. When do we pay for this? When, when, when is the payment due? Okay. Uh, we got an initial payment of 200 uh, uh, invoice, two or three hundred dollars. It actually uh, there was a little mix-up on this, and there was an interest charge, which was a big no-no, but uh, in working with Ida, we never really saw that, and so she's trying to get Civic Plus to roll that back. Now, that was for a prorated amount, as I understand it. We're paying $1,600 a year, you know, and this is, goes underneath the city's contract for the, for the services, the main website. And in order to save money, we chose to uh, follow the same exact design form and principles. So there was just minimal work involved mm -hmm. in that. It's got a real nice look and feel. We're proud of that. Uh, I have not uh, asked Ida on how that uh, will, will, will play out. Will you make a note on that, please? And, and I'll check with... Yeah, I'll check with Ida so we can budget that uh, uh, appropriately. Thanks, LB. The uh, Facebook update, I put that Facebook together back in like May the 23rd or so, and I looked it over over the weekend. 
in, of course, it looks good. What needs to be updated now for the downloadable files? Uh, I'll in, add in the new Excel spreadsheet, that updated one that's on the website that we all have for our phones, and that's for burial locations, either by name or by block. Uh, I will also update the rules and regulations. It's an older form in there dated February the 14th. And then there's a third older form in there. I believe it's the downloadable PowerPoint presentation. But the way it sits right now, it's functional. Uh, we need to then get the word out. I've got to get that QR code handy and available uh, so that we are going to put it uh, into the kiosk where people can scan it when they're visiting the, web, the cemetery and actually find a grave right there on the spot, you know, when no one's around. Oh, nice. So, uh, mm -hmm. sure, uh, yeah, make sure they can hear you. On Facebook, it shows how many followers there are. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yes, yeah, for Facebook. Not those that look at it, but those that want to join us. I think, right, it's, it's those that join us. It's only the ones that join us or that like us, whatever. Yeah, on the website, I don't know how many clicks that we will get for that. I believe that there are tools. Will you make a note, please, that I, uh, uh, Raytha, and then make a note, please, and then I'll check with Ida on statistics. Is there a the way? Website. Yeah. Is there a way to get visits or IP addresses or whatever? Yeah. Good. All righty. Any other questions about those two social media? Okay. All right. Uh, we will. Let's. Skip number three, the sign project. I believe Matt has that information when he arrives that we'll go back to it. Is everybody all right with that? That's fine. All righty. A commemorative coin. Uh, I uh, was told, uh, I, I went up to the Crescent Hotel is not interested in it. Uh, Murdy Mays is and we will find a place for it. He needs a place, uh, time to, it's Randy to uh, work it in there. So those are the two places that I've actually looked at. It displays real nice uh, on the website. Uh, we've got the uh, hunt, the expedition, the Camara Coin expedition displaying real well on the website. We'll have, we already have, I don't know if they're out right now, uh, brochures for visitors uh, at there at the kiosk that may want to participate in in the expedition. Uh, it's just a, a wonderful um, tool that LB, thank you, put together. I think you and Paula, and uh, nope, you. <laughs> Have another cookie. <laughs> so, so, sorry, Kim. Sorry, folks in YouTube land. <laughs> so, we went. <laughs> so, the expedition is really. Uh, it's the Founders Expedition, and we've got uh, five or six grave sites uh, with, uh, <laughs> that are mentioned in specific blocks on the back side of the form. We have a real nice map. It's that standard map of the cemetery. And so people can go out there into that block, find this individual, and there's, there's history behind each one of these, and then put their uh, date of birth, date of death. They to send in $20 to cover actually the cost of mailing, and we send them a commemorative coin. It's just a great thing, just yeah. a really, really neat thing. Uh, that's all I had, and I wanted to just comment on commemorative coin just for the benefit of our new audience and, and you. <laughs> okay, uh, kiosk improvement. You know, I'll just keep going on this one. Ready? Okay, LB and I for a viewing audience who work real closely together as chair, chairman and superintendent. So uh, the kiosk improvement, uh, I encourage everyone, everyone watching or listening, you know, to go out to the cemetery and take a look at our kiosk. 
uh, it's just, um, as you pull in, you go up towards the fountain and you make a right, and it's just there on the left. If you keep going, you'll see our beautiful new offices that you need to come out and visit. And um, so we've got the iconography, a real nice setup on one side. Uh, there's three panels on the left side. Then we've got a beautiful color map of the cemetery uh, by block. And then in the middle is what we're here talking about today. And we've already viewed items over here uh, based upon information that we've currently, uh, previously had in that center section on the kiosk. And with the addition of some new things, we wanted to add some great ideas from LB. Uh, we have put together, I believe you all have already seen this, uh, what we're going to do to just fill that in. Right now, we've just chosen eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper to keep it you know, pretty easy to move around. And I think that's an interim step. We'll probably go you know, into something, maybe a big single piece once we you know, get everything mm -hmm. uh, set up. Uh, so what you didn't see over there is the sheet. Wicker Walker already has the information on our three employees, uh, the two groundskeepers and our sexton uh, office admin, a little information. Then in the center section will be uh, just our, the officers, you know, commissioners and, you know, how we're serving the public. So uh, I like this. What we wanted to do was use the same font as the front sign, you know, and that's what we'll end up using on the street signs as well. So we think that's going to, you know, have a real nice look to it. So uh, I, I really would like to entertain a motion. LB, do you have any comments? Well, it's just general Do I have a second? I'll second it. All right. All in favor? Aye. Good. Thank you. Passed. Uh, the recognition card, letters, and uh, kiosks for contributions. Um, I called Candy last week and left a message for her to get back with me. It's my understanding she just recently had surgery. She hasn't gotten back with me yet, so that is still an ongoing project. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and we put together a set of uh, like three form letters on our letterhead color uh, that we can, you know, send people with the uh, Founders Expedition, uh, the people that would express interest in like buying a coin, those that donate. Uh, and we've had some real nice donations. So, you know, until we have the card, uh, we're, we're moving along with just some nice letters. As soon as I, as soon as she returns my call, I called her last week hoping to have information for today, but she didn't return my call yet. No, that is number six. Oh yeah, you did skip number six. What? I get something different than yours. Oh, oh, you're working off of that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, stay on the. Yeah, we'll just stay on this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, though. Okay. Uh, we'll move to number seven. Well. Let, let, let's pause for a minute and, and we can bring Matt a little bit up to date.
maybe Matt would want to uh, talk now to the sign project. Would you be ready to do that? Yes. Or do you want to get a few minutes? Okay, you got to pull up close to one of these mics that has a blue light on. So let's move back to number three, the sign project, then we'll go, then we'll jump back to number seven. Welcome, Matt. Okay. So, I've been in touch with Kate quite a bit. Um, and quite frankly, after my phone call today with her, I'm getting ready to go in another direction. Um, she's kind of been putting me off and putting me off and putting me off, saying that she's got to get with Latigo, who's doing the, the posts and things like that. Um, and I talked with her about it's the best way to go with it painted steel or uh, powder coated steel or should we do a galvanized pole and so she was supposed to get me all of that information I've also repeatedly asked her for a sample that I could have for this meeting so ever since the last meeting now it's been about a month I've probably had a dozen phone calls with her or more um, after today I said hey you were going to call me back on Friday with pricing needed for the meeting mm -hmm. and she said well I'm still having a hard time getting glad to go to get that and she goes I, I may have to just bow out of this project so it was kind of a last minute thing today with her um, and she said if I can't get you the information today she said I'll try to call you before she never did it again okay and what we're talking about here uh, are the new uh, street signs and block signs for the cemetery. Uh, I really, uh, in order to, to stay with our rules of order, I would like to entertain a motion to retract uh, the previously passed motion that we had done several months ago uh, concerning the mailbox sign post that uh, we had agreed to actually to pursue. Uh, since then, we have really backed away from that, and now, according to Matt's conversation uh, and information, we are really pursuing a different. Uh, yeah, go ahead, LB. On this project, it's a very expensive project. And we have a sign out there that we're trying to uh, get it down to the point where we can So I, I like where we are. I like the idea, obviously, of an, another workshop. Uh, but I think we need to put forth a motion because we actually already had approved, well, you know. Well, I like the, the motion with regard to the status of our sign project at this time. That we step away from it and uh, try to gather more information. Uh, 
Do I have a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Wonderful. Okay. I got it right. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go back over and help okay. recap at the end. We'll get that. Yeah, it was interesting because one of the things when I started talking to her about it, besides him making the metal hole, was I started questioning her about the sign that was going to be out there. And I didn't really care for what she was doing with it. They were basically going to do a metal sign, but the graphics on it were going to be vinyl. And I said, you know, what sort of longevity that, does that have as opposed to it being painted on that it? defeats the purpose. And she said, yeah. oh, maybe three to five years, or if we go with a better vinyl, five to seven years. So I said, so you're saying in five years all the living may start coming off of it? That just doesn't sound like a good thing. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Exactly. Well, at least it gives us a time we can take our breath, catch your breath right now on the project. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you, Matt. Uh, now we can move into point seven, the remembrance idea. Well, when we, this was brought up last meeting and, uh, with mixed uh, reviews, I think. What it is is when, when someone comes and purchases a, a plot, uh, they get um, rules and guidelines, they get permit picture request forms, and they get uh, term term. This would just be something that would be included in their packet. It would give them an opportunity to provide a narrative of the individual that's being buried in the cemetery. And also, this would be an opportunity for others that have already been buried in the cemetery for relatives and so forth to also provide a narrative. And what it would require on us is that we would keep a hard copy of that and we would put on a computer to create a file for that, for future references and research and uh, future generations that may have lost track, you know what I mean? Uh, and you have a copy of what it, what it uh, states there. It's just, uh, I love this idea. So it's, a, it's an option. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's a, an opportunity for, for people to, to uh, I think it can in part somewhat of a way of reading. Hmm. Because they would be able to recount some of the things in the individual life. So I, I, I don't remember what the mixed emotion order I have, but I, I think that's something we need to consider. Do we need to read it all out or not? Would, would you want me to read it out? Well, well, I think we should discuss this, and I believe it's something that, that should be passed. This is also a way for us to uh, get really stories and historical information from families that I know whose people have just passed away in the last several years in their 80s and 90s, and their current family members, I think, would be proud uh, for us to have history on these individuals knowing that it would be accessible even to the public, you know, in the future, if, if they so wanted it. Yeah. It's what Voices does, in essence. So, LB, do you think that with this information that we have here, uh, should we all take a look at this and be prepared to pass and, and well, instigate this? What you all would do during this month between the time and the meeting. If you want to take another month, I mean, that's fine. But well, we don't have to. No, I'm just asking. Yeah, I was for it last month. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. I think we should go ahead and vote on it, make a motion and vote on it. Uh, yeah, I do too. I, I, just some of the details that are in here, though, might be able to be expounded upon. Can we use our, our license, creative license, to do that? Just go ahead and adopt this today, pretty much as it reads, and then we'll 
we'll get in here and just work it a little? No. I, I mean, I'm fine. In order to do the process with contact the cemetery section slash office manager, and you can put the details about that. You know, the remembrance to the commission at the city address for the general of the actual location. And then I didn't know about this website and Facebook, how they be able to process the remembrance. That's something that's your expertise or someone else's data. So we just need to mm -hmm. fill out the rest of the information as to how they get it to us. Right. And this would go into packets that, that people get, and once it gets around, then if they've got a grandfather out there, they can come and bring their to the cemetery office and they'll file it away. I love it. There you go. I'm open to entertaining a motion. A second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you very much, LB. And the new cremation area. Okay, real briefly, uh, uh, I showed Matt the other day, block 18 and 19, just to make a note, block 18 and 19 has an aisle. Some of the sides of the aisle are the You took me. You took me down those aisles. We so we looked at those. So we probably we probably mm -hmm. need to just make sure that everyone goes down there and looks at it. And then also, there may be some other places that are better. But we we do have a need to come up with as soon as we can additional cremation plots. We've got maybe a half a dozen in the original cremation mode left, and that's it. So uh, if you're not aware of it. Why don't, may I make a suggestion? We, we, there are certain areas that we've looked at, and I think you might want to be familiar with, with all of the areas we've talked about. I'm fine with pulling back from that one area where we talked about the cremation garden, uh, if that's what we need to do. So we would want to make a determination on that, you know, and then uh, I'd say next month, just act on pulling this away. Is there you know, the commission will have to look at that and also just browse the cemetery and come up with some other suggestions. Yeah. Is that something you think next Monday we might be able to do? Do you think maybe next Monday that's your day off? I've got doctor's appointments. Doctor's right. appointments, okay. We don't necessarily have to do it as a group. Well that's true. You know, but the main thing is to try to get some insights by next Vote. That's a right. vote. Yeah. For and I know what you're talking about. Let's re walk through it. But yeah. If y'all want to just put it up to the meeting today or something like that, I don't know what you're doing. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. About. And I'm good with that today as okay. well. So, uh, thank you, LB. We will agree then. We don't need a motion here, do we? Yeah. So, uh, with respect to our rules and 
things if two or three of us get together and want to go out there? Do we need to notify the public on this to, to join us for their input? What do you think? Uh, we, we can call a special meeting. I can get with Kim and we can do this and uh, it'll be formally done and we can act on it uh, next month's meeting. Are you comfortable with that, LB? Well, the thing is, is we wouldn't necessarily have to do that. We could just simply have an individual go out and look at the block 18 and 19 okay. and also look at the rest of the cemetery as individuals. Yeah. And then be prepared to discuss and make suggestions next meeting. That way we don't have to have a special meeting. Okay. We're not interacting with one another and making any kind of decisions. Okay. Very good. Just everyone yeah. inform themselves mm -hmm. and the idea where can we, what area in the cemetery can we best utilize for additional treatment? Yeah. Will you give us a little in a text or email, just a little guideline on check out this and check out that, and then we can check out the alley between. 18 and 19. And any other area that you might find. Okay. Have you got that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good deal. Can, can I Appreciate ask one that. question? Yes. What what <laughs> what size is needed for cremains? Four by four. Four by four. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Thank you. We only did that because we're nice. <laughs> so, mid year budget. Do we want to discuss that in this meeting? I think we need to table that until we discuss Good. Good. That's good. Uh, do we need a motion on that? To move it? Or to table it or leave it leave it as unfinished? Very good. May I have a second? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay, thank you. Uh, do you all want to take a break for a few minutes? Is there a need okay. to? Would you push We're on? We've got to get out of here. Okay, plant <laughs> policy, new business. Okay, plant policy. We're, uh, everything we do at the cemetery, we need to factor in what maybe is going to be associated with. No matter what, what it is that we, uh, that we do out there, there's, there's maintenance and stuff that is there. And so we have people coming out there and planting trees without permission. Uh, they're planting various things. But we have to wait in the And that just takes more time. So the plant policy, plant, planting of any vegetation. I believe this needs to be added right into our rules and regulations. I may try to make that as simple as possible and just include that as a part of our policy mm -hmm. and include that also the form for a plan request be added to the packet of information they get when they purchase a barrel plot and also have an acceptable for people who already have blocked out there and come by the office or they can call and send it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we're, uh, there's uh, three or four, you know, there are many places out there that are completely out of control. And some of these plants really do get out of control. These big yuccas and things like mm -hmm. that, and they start uprooting the stone. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you plant a big tree, and before you know it, as the roots grow, it infringes on other things yeah. where it is. How do we want to? act upon those that really are out of control right now. Well, there's not really a whole lot that, do we, we, uh, that we can do. We have to have a policy first. They're kind of like, I guess, would be grandfathered in. You know, you can't go back and say, yeah. you know, well, this, this is going forward. And if there's a plot that a very plot that hasn't been planted yet, that would be included. We could do something about that. Um, 
it's, it's just getting out of hand and distorting um, bound borders. And I almost um, wonder if we could put something in there also that says even if it's pre-existing, that if it starts encroaching or damaging. I think we know, need that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Because yeah. I'm looking for the word future and or yeah, even if it's there, if it's accountability. Or damaging, yeah. Um, you know, another area that it should be subject to trimming or removal. Or, that, that's, a, that's an excellent idea. Why don't we add a sentence? Coming up with a more detailed thinking process. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll move that up to unfinished business. Yeah, okay. And I don't think we need a motion. Uh, well, we don't. Yeah, we're just moving it up. Okay, the invitation. That's up here. Uh, it's just, it just says the Rick Just something that's going to go into the kiosk, try to encourage more involvement, and, and as it's related to another item, this new business, try to get more people um, to make contributions. LB, I went ahead and did this up, I think verbatim, and it, it is over there. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. So uh, I'd like to make a motion to include this invitation. I think we already did. We already actually included it. it and we voted on it. Yeah, and we voted. Uh huh. It was included in that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, the control burn. <laughs> Trimmings, limbs, debris. Yeah. So this, that, that's just the information on that. And in the future, we're going to have to come up with some There's not, uh, when, when we worked with the uh, city with all of the new garbage regulations and things that uh, Carroll County Waste Control Group, uh, they said that they, uh, if we contacted them, they may be able to do us a few little favors at different times. So I think if we get in a bind, uh, I don't have a problem contacting them uh, until we uh, come to a resolution of this here. Is that, that all right with you? Okay. All righty, thank you. Let's move on. Uh, Cemetery Projects Committee. 
Well, this came from a, uh, some discussion that David had with uh, um, and I have also had in the past with uh, She has suggested we're trying to get a group of people who would support the cemetery. Kind of like the people that put on voices uh, if they have their own. Spring and fall. Yes. It's a different book. There were, there was information that was uh, put out in, in previous years, probably five, six, seven, or 2017 actually, by the cemetery uh, commission, and they had a, a piece called the volunteer opportunities. This isn't exactly the cemetery projects committee, but they had already pulled together thoughts, which did include a, a tour, like a tour, tour guided tour that could be offered uh, at specific times. Uh, Yeah, there, mm -hmm. Some of these other activities were an office assistance program, you know, where past people could come in and uh, that, you know, do, do the bookkeeping and things or would help them organize. Uh, there was a photography committee and program, uh, which was pretty neat. Special events, there was an adopt a block uh, was an item about individuals, groups, organizations, societies, and or companies coming in, you know, the way they do the adopt the highway style thing, where people could get involved, you know, from that, from that uh, perspective. So in the interest, it says, of safety and accountability, volunteers should work in cemetery, be in a cemetery, their volunteer capacity only. It, it, it kind of goes down what you were outlining a few minutes ago, LB past employee yeah, but commissioners and so on. Uh, I don't know what to do with this other than we just need to brainstorm. Yeah. Try to talk with folks and see what we can come up with if we can. Why don't we move this on up to unfinished business and try to throw some meat around it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Will that be all right? Okay, let's move to point number five. Rhonda Laughlin, the burial request, something specific. This one has contacted both Rick and Hansel. She has a, I believe it's her mother, passed away in the premium. Her mother's passions are going to be placed in more than one location. She wants some of them to be placed in a vase. Set on a headstone that's already in the cemetery, belonging to a family member. I 
guess they will anchor it somehow, glue it somehow to the head stone. So there would be a cocooning or a or somehow place there. We know we have the tops situation in the cemetery, but there's seven bodies in that one grave. Family members have brought in five cremations and two full castle graves, and no one knew about it. Recognize the devil of the last day. That's not, well, we don't know who those people are. Still don't know who some of them are. And the whole idea is that we should have an idea of who's buried and they were born and they died. We must, we have She's to. She's willing that. to provide yeah. the obituary and the information that we need. Yeah, we, we're going to have to, you know, to treat them the same way. way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. Isn't that all right? it, it's just a record. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's entirely reasonable to have a $25, it's just a processing fee because we've got to account for that on Excel spreadsheets. We're going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and, and do the three by five cards for the vault. You know, we're, we've got to register it that way as well. So, uh, uh, an, an administrative fee, what, what is it you need? Oh, so as far as... I've seen it. Yeah. So we know where it's going to be. Uh, I just believe the interment request form would be appropriate with maybe an adjustment uh, to it. Uh, if there's a, just an administration type fee or do you, do you think we need a different type of interment form? Those are my. Yeah. Who, who is what? it? Who is attaching the urn to the headstone? It's, huh? it's, her. She's a friend of mine. Her mother passed away, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she's her ashes are going to no, three different cemeteries. No, I I wonder who's actually cementing it to the headstone. Who's fast? They are. They will. Do you think it need? We need to get the. Uh, it, one of the companies that handles the headstones and things to do a formal uh, cement I don't, attachment. I don't think they're wanting, wanting to do that. That's why it makes it cumbersome to try to figure out. You said, oh, yeah, you, you go ahead and come up with this uh, blue that's one that's supposedly guaranteed to be. Are they considered a non-golfer? Well, that's what we talked about. Kelly Monroe. Set it on that post, and that post gives us some support as well. Because 
matter how strong the glue is, I promise you, if you hit that thing, it's yeah. coming off. Yeah. I don't have a problem with contacting. And that's contacting. what I told her. I told her that. I don't have a problem contacting like Kelly Monument about a process and a procedure exactly what you just described to where we have something in writing, you know, it'll be the way we have so many inches deep for foundations and so well, many this. I don't know that there are so many headstone driver races that have a lip a base wide enough to put something on. Like a curve. It, would, it would look like a, a headstone with base of a like flower with, with bases on yeah. the side of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this is just going to be something small. Yeah. So. I mean, we can't be responsible for the contents of it if it's, I mean, we have to come up with the guidelines, you know, for the attachment of that to an already approved or if it's grandfathered. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They get knocked over, they get hit by trees. Right. And then what's going to happen in the context of the yeah. topic? That's the, yeah. We don't want to tell them no, you know, we just want it done with a policy that will last us into the future. I, I don't think there's any rush on this, you break I, okay. I think the wise thing maybe to do is to mold this over and come up with some kind of thing that's going to cover up and replace symbols. I just think it, it's really important to think that through that it's going to be something that applies to everybody going forward rather than a, okay, well, you can do this, and yeah. okay, it's okay for you to do this. Exactly. It's got to go right. into the rules and guidelines. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, okay. I think we've got a handle on this. Yeah. Let's, bo let's move this up to unfinished, and I'll take the action item. Uh, to get in touch with uh, Kelly Monuments, uh, just to give us an idea, you know, on on fixtures of these types of flower vases and urns and things, and then we will go ahead uh, with uh, modifying either the current interment request form um, and or create a new one uh, and put the correct text into our rules and guidelines. Next month, we'll be able, I'll have something for us we can vote on. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay. Uh, moving along, uh, the CPA uh, Quick Books Item 6. It's the last item in new business. Do what? <laughs> Would you pass the cookies, please? All right. So let's go. Uh, Raytha, you've got some information. I'll preface this by saying that I would contacted uh, the CPA around the corner, too busy, contacted the one at O'Reilly. Uh, they just, as they, sh the day they shut down the business. Uh, and so they're only operating now Springfield and Branson. Now talk to them. Then I was referred. Uh, to the gentleman that's below the 1886 bank, contacted him, and he referred me now to what you've got in your handout that uh, Raytha will talk about the services he's offering for $225 a month uh, to get our QuickBooks up and going where we need to be, where we can start running forms and so on and so forth. So for $225 a month, he will download and update all bank and credit card transactions, match and post to registers, reconcile all checking and credit card accounts, save bank statements and reconciliations, identify and document all uncleared payments and deposits greater than 60 days, research and correct the errors, review and correct unapplied cash payment income or unapplied bills, which indicate payments or deposits was not matched to invoices properly, Review the AR aging report for any invoices greater than 30 days. Identify negative amounts on the report if they need, and that need to be corrected. Include report with client email and confirm accuracy of any invo invoices greater than 30 days. Uh, compare the AR aging report to the AR balance on the 
uh, balance sheet, review and reconcile undeposited funds to ensure they're all clearing. Undeposited funds should clear within three to five business days. Review the AP report and look for incorrect transactions. Review AP aging report for any bills greater than 30 days and identify negative amounts on the report they need to be corrected. Confirm bills greater than 30 days with client. Um, compare the QuickBooks aging summary to the balance sheet. Review the payroll tax liability accounts and compare to amounts paid or owed. Review other payroll liabilities to make sure that payments are current. Um, review other asset and liability accounts to verify they're correct. Balance outstanding loans to balances online. Prepare journal entries as requested or require and generate the Ask My Accountant report and send email to us. Uh, then he does a quarterly profit and loss and generates a balance sheet to send to us as well. I'd gotten a subsequent email from him wanting to know approximately how many transactions per month were we processing. I went back and counted anywhere from 15 to 25. So, I mean, this is really minimal, but we've got to get this thing going. So we, I would like to entertain, uh, any questions on this? He will. I spoke to him on the phone. That's what this does. That's QuickBooks. has kind of taken it from now. I don't see why he wouldn't. If he wants your business, I think. Well, LB, we've got all of 2023 pretty much input. It's just not balancing. We, I want that taken care of. 2023. We've got 2024 is also all input as well. I met with the auditors this past week. It's all part of this conversation. I met with the state auditors for 2023 this past week, right? And they wanted a couple of months of 2024. And I kind of explained to them what we were doing now and how we were discussing this tonight. And they said, okay, it's no big deal. You know, we just thought. And I told them, you know, he's going to, it's Marcus and Patrick. Marcus will call me back, you know, after, you know, sometime this week. Uh, he has had some other forms uh, with some other bank accounts that were inaccurate based upon the, uh, CD, the 20,000 CD that we that matured, that we opened up a 10,000 CD and a 10,000 money market account. So another form, I couldn't sign it, you know, so they're back, they're doing their thing on this. So we're just on the cusp now of bringing this guy on, 
you know, and have all this whipped up. I mean, we've got 2023 and 2024, you know, right where we need them. And what these guys do, they, you know, he's, he's going to log in, you know, based upon, you know, what we're doing. And, you know, I think this is a clear sailing. There would be maybe some concerns about, well, do we need to pay $225 a month, you know, from now to eternity? I don't think so at all. And uh, so uh, I think we can talk to him about taking this through the end of the year. Let's see where we are, you know, closing out 2024, what we've done in 2023, where we can line up two years worth of these expenditures and line items that you're talking about, you know, for comparison purposes, for budgeting going forward in the future. LB. Our new employee has already input everything from 2023. Well, I realize that, but why yeah. would we incorporate 2023 into 2024? 2024 is this... Uh, uh, no, LB, 2023 data has been input into our current QuickBooks now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're really far down the road. We just hit a bump and we can't get like two accounts to balance. And this guy needs to come in here and mop it up. Two twenty-five a month. Bring up the previous ones. To go through and check to make sure everything is balanced from January to through July. Okay, what he said right here is I had discussed this with him, okay, uh, and, you know, he had, he, he's got the information already added for 2023. This is just in his, we can verify that, this is within his $225 a month. We're, we're, we're real close right now. You, you know, it's not like there's a whole lot of work to be done. Okay, there's a question, uh, Raytha, you want to jot down and ask him. Yeah. This is something we need to get. That's what this is all about. The data for QuickBooks for the cemetery in 2023 is already input in QuickBooks and in the same QuickBooks for 2024. And I think we're in great shape. We just need to pull the trigger on this guy and let's get her done. Uh, I would, I'll entertain a motion or, or, or let's see. We have questions to be answered and then we want to bring this back up or do we want to entertain a motion now based upon these answers to these questions? So we don't have to waste another month. Well, what you're saying, LB, is we got to be charging two twenty-five a month. We just want to know what he's going to charge us to bring everything from January one up until now and bring us up to date. Well, it's a button push. There's nothing else to do. But but check it. You want to know if he's going to charge that for January? So, yeah. So what we're what we're talking about here is we can see if we can get him here to the office, look in what we have, and give us a price if if it's something that he's got to go back and do something to 2023 and do something for the first six months of 2024. Is that kind of what I'm hearing? You know. And then and then when he goes, well, no, you've got it all in there. Let me work on getting these balanced because they're real close. It's one, it's one, it's isn't it one thing that's missing for 2023 that it isn't balancing, right? Already in QuickBooks. And so 2024, we're moving right along. But we're not, we're not bookkeepers. 
Uh, Hannah has the wonderful experience. It's one of the reasons it's on her job resume and, and why the job wreck for her funding and one of the reasons why we hired her. And this guy right here is the person that trained her. I forgot to mention that. She told me that the other day. She went, oh my gosh, well, I'm loving that. So uh, that's a big plus. I mean, I'm on a hard sell on this one, folks. <laughs> I mean, we've done all the due diligence that we can do. So we're going to find out how much he's going, Michael's going to charge us, Mike or Michael will charge us to, to, to bring forth 2023, if it's, if, if it's, yeah and the first half if it's in addition to two and a quarter. Is that what I'm hearing? I think that's what I'm saying. Is, yes. Is he going to go back and... Yeah. Is he going to charge us 225 for January and 225 for March and April? Or is he just going to come in here and do it for 225 right. a month and get us caught yeah, up? Yeah, if you've got that written down there like that... Well, that's not exactly how I've got it written down, but... <laughs> but that's good. Right, LB? <laughs> well, here, hang on. Let's stop right now. I'm, I'm going to read it to you. No, I'm going to read it to you. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's clarify the role of the office administrator right now. Because if you and I are disagreeing, we, we want to we, we want to read it, you know, just to make sure we understand. So, the request for 2024 allocations. I don't need to read through all of this, but the point that we're talking about here uh, is um, point number five and uh, point number six, actually. The Cemetery Commission, uh, we passes over $50,000 through the books annually, so basic computer bookkeeping will also be a duty with oversight by the Commission Treasurer. Point number six, the Commission is exploiting grant funding to create an interactive mobile GIS map for burial locations and other information, which will be available on a website website maintenance. This position would oversee website maintenance and content and other social media. A commissioner would also assist with this. So we've got everything positioned currently the way that it is. Well, that's why we need to manage this person's time, her time, right? As we're bringing on these things. The gentleman that we're talking about here is the one that trained her. They had got this cool affinity. She was actually real excited about it when I mentioned it to her like three or four days ago. Uh, and so uh, what it means is we've got to measure then what it will be her responsibilities at 15 to 25 uh, transactions a month is all she touches the keyboards on. Okay. Oh, it is. Push a button. Come straight out. Yeah. You definitely. And then, and then with this training coming up on that website maintenance and content and other social media, well, we're just going to see. I mean, you know, that's, 
I'm kind of the overseer, you know, of, of that piece, and I'm giving the treasurer's thing off of me over here to uh, Ratha, so she'll be effective now overlooking that, which brings up the point of us, we must go to the bank and get our names all on the bank account because currently, right now, it's only LB and I, and that's a big black mark, you know, against us and the commission uh, that are able to sign, right? It, okay, have it recorded in today's minutes that we will, we need a motion that we will all go to the bank and do this. Uh, we've done it in the past but only two of us are left. And now we've got a full complement, which last month we discussed that, okay? And so what you'll need to do is list each of our names and uh, uh, commission positions and uh, titles if applicable. And I will take the, these meeting minutes uh, to Andrea Peterson uh, at, uh, at Equity, and uh, she'll get all the paperwork and get everything together. Huh? I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 the cornerstone. Yeah, Equity is my bank. Excuse me. So the only thing that I'll ask is when you set up this time, I don't know what the lobby hours are. If they're 9 to 5, if we can do it for the same part of that time, just because of my Okay. Yeah, I'll, and what I'll try to do, it was really easy for us to all do it at once last year, about a year and a half ago, but she can keep the books open if I can't get that done. Do we, do we, all, do we all have to be there at the same time? No. Well, that's what I was just saying. That's what I was just saying. So we contact her and she has to get information from Well, that's what we just put on the minutes. Yeah. And then I, that's what I'll that's what I'll check. I'll, I'll see if we all have to be there. Or, I'm going to find out. And let everybody. We should. Know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, are we ready to move on to loose ends? We're going to be run out of here in like one minute. Not really. The city is going to meet here at 6, and uh, we want to go back through the meeting minutes and help Ratha out so that uh, we can get the meeting minutes out in a uh, soon, quick time. Loose ends. Can I move on to announcements? LB, what do you think? Uh, Any comments, LB, on loose ends? Okay. Er, 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 okay. Uh, announcements. I actually, I covered everything that I could talk about about commemorative coins earlier. So we're done there. Uh, a meeting summary. Uh, should we go through each of these line items real quick on what passed? What I we've you, done. I don't take good notes. You what know that. Count. Well, this is what the meeting minutes are going to be about. <laughs> She's got some over here, too. She's probably done a better job than I have. I don't know. By the way, this is a working commission. <laughs> I we, see that. We all have work. I see that. Okay, so the approval of the minutes, the motion was made by LB, second by Ratha. Approval of the agenda, motion was made by LB to accept the six new business requests. The second was made by Ratha. And it was all passed, yeah, unanimous. Well, I yeah. didn't put that in here. You can okay. add your touches to that. Uh -huh. um, public comments, we just did a welcome premature to Britta, who will be voted into the Cemetery Commission this evening. Uh, LB presented his superintendent report. There was no groundkeeper report. The sexton office manager's report is attached. Treasurer's report was made by Ratha. No special events. 
Um, unfinished business website update. David to talk with Ida about payment to city for the budget. Check with Ida on how many visits to the website. Uh, Facebook update. David is updating that. Sign project update by Matt. Motion made by LB to retract the motion previously made to purchase the post. Second by Ratha. Commemorative coin. David stated that the Crescent Hotel is not interested, but that Randy at Murdy Mays is, and he'll come up with a safe spot for location. Uh, kiosk improvement. Motion made by LB to accept new kiosk layout. Second by Ratha. Uh, remembrance idea presented by LB. See the form in the July Sexton report. Motion made by LB to accept the remembrance program and second by Matt. Uh, new cremation area discussed as a group. We'll walk the cemetery block 18 and 19. Mid-year budget. Motion made by LB to table discussion till next meeting. Uh, new business plant policy, see attached in July Sexton's report, discussion taking place to table until next month. Invitation for remembrances, we decided we're going to place that in the kiosk. Uh, control burn, we discussed what we were going to do with the debris. Uh, cemetery projects committee group of people willing to do the work and see projects through. We move that to unfinished business. Uh, Rhonda Laughlin, continue to unfinished business. CPA guidelines, discussed accounting services. It is accounting going to charge us 225 monthly starting now or for past month. We have questions to be answered. We need to go to the bank to get all our signatures on the bank account. And I listed our names on here. Well done. Okay. We don't have that information about what what you do, what you charge to review and going through or actually what that is. But do we is there an interesting going ahead and asking them to handle our What if I uh, get right on it and work with Raytha and we call him? And then what if, what if I call a special meeting in one week after I've already presented this to you? And then we would say, yes, okay, let's vote, let's go. Uh, would that suit you? I like making Michael Ludwig, Ludwig, Lad, 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 at two hundred and twenty five dollars a month. Do I have a second? Yeah, okay, all in favor? Aye. I said we're getting started and, you okay. know, then it's just a matter of a phone call and say, yeah. hey, we're going to charge you from January 1st to today. I love it. That should be a quick call. I love it. Yeah, yeah that's good. We need to get Yeah. Very good. Thank you for that, LB. 
And so you've got that recorded in the uh, minutes. If you can read my did, writing, it's on what here. We passed. Okay. We could rotate. Maybe in the future, I still feel like I'm getting my feet wet here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let oh, let come me understand on. the territory. <laughs> thrown to the wolves right off the bat. That's what happened to Matt. He came last month and we shoved this in his face. Okay, all right. I was so, here a year and a half ago, and they said, oh, you're the treasurer. <laughs> well, she sat here taking notes today, too, so. Well, we have that one. I see the outline. Yeah. But you write much neater than I do. And who does that go to, then? Does well, that go you, to you? you would just type it up, and then you send it to all of us. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, we... Yeah, and then that... Then that, yeah, and okay. then it just rolls into the next month and okay. if, with this Word document, mm -hmm. you know, and then, and then it's, you turn it into the agenda, and then you crank out the meeting minutes to be approved. Yet. It's real easy. <laughs> you will hear it in a few hours. It's, it's real. See, yeah. I think, I think y'all be discovered a jewel oh, yeah, when whatever. he met you. Whatever. <laughs> Hey, welcome aboard, and you're going to be confirmed here in the next hour. Yeah. So we've we well, got to get out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome um, aboard. I, I would like, before we end, one thing that would be helpful to me is to have everybody's contact information. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What? Uh, How will that happen? Well, okay. It would be nice to go out of the office and get the, uh, we need to get yeah. Yeah. It, yes. It, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, the, wait, wait. Okay. so which policy book? The secretary <laughs> policy book? Oh, gee whiz. Like, <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, my uh, goodness. So, yeah, I'm, I've got a book for you. <laughs> All right, welcome aboard, and we'll take care of that. Okay. And do we have, let's write down, uh, give us right now your phone number, okay. and how about we just text you our name and email? Uh, she's, with our phone number. She's better than that. She's got Absolutely. cards to hand out. Give us a card. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. And welcome Thank aboard. You. Welcome aboard. Uh, I really want to... Uh, so, okay. So, so what we... So we do need uh, to adjourn the agenda setting. I'll just reread that. I kind of mentioned some of the details to you, but you send the meetings out, the meeting minutes out. Uh, I'll work with you on getting the agenda before, well, Wednesday, September the 4th is what Kim requires. We'll have that way before then. So I'm looking for a motion to adjourn this meeting. <laughs> I make a motion we adjourn today's meeting. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Thank, all of you. thank you, David. Great job. <laughs> Did we talk loud enough for you? <laughs>